Holy cow! Oh, that's a giant one. Oh, he's trying to go in the spillway. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and look at us. This is just not right. We are all ridiculous. bundled up right now. I've got like two layers of jackets on. It is middle of May and it is currently like 50 degrees. Like That's 55. A, maybe 55, but it feels cold. It it's been raining. Ra it's raining off and on and uh, it's starting to rain right now as we're speaking. But that's not stopping us from getting out on the water today and doing some fishing. We're here at a dam and we're actually gonna fish below a different spillway back off in the woods. We're gonna start here at the main spillway. We're gonna throw our throw nets out so we can catch some bait. And then we're gonna hike back into the woods to the little secret spillway. And hopefully we'll be able to catch some monsters back there. Maybe even something prehistoric like. Ooh. That's the goal. <laughs> we're excited for today's video. If you are too, be sure to give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So you don't miss any of the future outdoor action. But with that being said, let's go catch some bait and let's go catch the fish. Yes. All right, we're gonna start right here. This is a good spot to catch some fresh bait. We're gonna try to get some shad, mix the thread fins and gizzards. Maybe we'll get some small bluegills also. I've got my throw net with me. Let's toss out and there's like a little, we've got some current, we got a little back spot right there where maybe some fish will be hanging out. If we want to catch anything here, we'll go up there to the main spillway and surely we'll catch something up there. Oh, we got bait. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Heck yeah. That's all we need. That is all we need. We got a mixture. It looks like it's all shad. We got one big shad, probably the big shad go. But we got plenty. A small little shed to use for bait. Well, that big guy go. Got the bait. Now let's hike back to the fishing spot and put these things on a hook and see what we can catch. All right, we're on the trail now. We've got four rods in hands. We've got our bucket of shad and we are hoping that we're able to get back here and catch some fish we haven't been back here at all in the last maybe like six seven months the water's been too high to fish back here um it's been it's been draining out and it's finally at a level i think that we can actually catch some fish in the past we've caught some really cool fish and we've caught some really big fish back here and it's a very small area so it's really cool it's a lot of fun to fish and we're hoping we can do the same today and catch some really monster sized fish we've got about maybe a 10 minute walk ahead of us where we get out here and uh, we're gonna get these lines in the water and Hopefully we'll get some action pretty quick. We'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we made it here to the fishing spot. You can see behind us, here's the slough. We're at the drainage pipe here. This is the upstream side of it. And then behind us over here is the downstream portion. We might fish both sides, but we're gonna start up here in the upstream side. We've had a lot of success here. Um, before we get in the water, let me show you guys what we're working with. Basically, we just brought some heavy duty catfish rods. We also got some bass rods. You know, we got our six cents rods, just regular bass gear, heavy braid. And we have attached to it, just little circle hooks. We have a couple of Shaughnessy hooks, just a mixture of hooks. We're gonna see which one does better. And then at the bottom of it, we have a weight. So the current's ripping kind of hard. I've got a three ounce weight on the bottom here to keep my bait locked in place. And we're gonna show you guys how to bait the shad up and how we're gonna try to catch these fish today. All right, here's our bait. We're gonna start by using half size pieces. So I got some scissors, cut the shad in half. We're just gonna let the bottom part drop to the ground. We'll use that piece later if we need to rebait. And then we're just gonna stick the shad on to the circle hook. I'm just gonna stick it one time. Top of the bag, it's really meaty. Pull the scales off the tip of the hook. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna pitch it out here. All right, so down here, we've got some bushes. We have a little bit of calm water. We have the main channel ripping through here. We're thinking that the fish are gonna try to stay out of the current and hang out in these bushes. So we're gonna pitch it right here in between the two of the channel and the bushes. Just right there, really close. And this reel has a little bait clicker on it. So I'm just gonna set the bait clicker. We hear that, we know we got a fish. Okay. And that's it, it's very simple. This is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sit here now and hopefully wait for something to take the bait. Hopefully it's a monster, hopefully. Hopefully we get a big one. That's 
bite. Fish, fish, giant, it's a giant, it's a giant. This is what we came here for, guys. This is what we came here for. Oh gosh. Let's get down here. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, he's huge, look at that. I'm gonna swing him. I'm gonna swing up on the bank. Uh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, chill, 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 chill. Holy crap, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's unhooked. He's a little dirty, but you got him. <laughs> All right, that is the fish that we came here for today, guys. This was one of the species. This is a bowfin or a grinnell or Amy a calvo, whatever you want to call this fish. This is a ferocious prehistoric fish that lives here in this little in this little ditch ecosystem, this little spillway. And that's a pretty good size. I don't have a scale in, but he's probably about six pounds or so. These fish can get to like 13, 15 pounds, even bigger sometimes. But look at that. He's got some gnarly teeth. Oh, just truly prehistoric looking. I was over messing around. I was about to cast over in that shallow bushes over there. I saw my other rod just go bonk. I was like, oh, there's a fish on there. <laughs> nice. That is really cool. Hopefully we can catch some more. I'm gonna wash him off so we can get a look at him a little bit better. But if he falls off in the water, then you saw him here first. He got away. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get our lines back out in the water so we can catch another one. Good job. Thank you. She's got one. Jay says she's got one. Oh, she doesn't. She's not lying. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my gosh. Look at the jumps. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Keep him out of the bushes. Holy cow. Oh, it's a giant one. Whoa. Oh, he's trying to go in the spillway. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here, come down here. Keep him out of the bushes. Okay, swing him up. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have swung him. It was a giant. <sighs> sitting down. I caught him sitting down. <laughs> Dang, did he break it? No, he just came off. He just came off. Dang. They had a bunch of bushes in our way. Might could have walked them over there, maybe. Well, your line was in the water. I didn't. I was surprised I didn't get in your line. Yeah, you can move them pretty good. That was so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get another one. He's got it. Jay's got a fish. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if you can land this one. That fish has got so many bright colors on him. Holy cow. Need help? You got him? Oh, I'm in your line. No, you're in somebody else's line. Oh, I'm in somebody else's line? Yeah, you got somebody else's line. Okay, so Jay's got the fish, but the fish is tangled up in somebody else's fishing line also. I'm not sure if it's like got another hook in him or if he just got tangled up in somebody else's line. Jay's got the fish. It's suspended in the air. I've got some scissors. Come on. Don't fall, Colt. And, and, okay, pull him up. Pull him up. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> All right, Bowfin number two successfully landed. Both of these land jobs have just been atrocious, but we've got them on the boat. Good job, Jay. How did we even do that? I don't know. That this was place. the biggest mess. Let's get them unhooked. Okay, we got the hook out and we got the other line out. Man, that was the biggest mess ever. I can't believe we landed this fish because I lost the first one. I was really bummed about that, but dang, I got this one. Yeah, that was quite an adventure landing this fish. And he's a big one. Oh, 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 she got him, she got him. These fish are super hard to hold <laughs> on to. Yeah, caught him up against her leg. That is a fantastic looking both in good colors. Looks truly prehistoric. Ready to send it back? Ready. Okay. All right, big guy. Woo. He's ready to go. Heck yeah. Woo! My hand is slimy. <laughs> All right, we've caught two, 
Really good size bow fin, almost had a third. I think we've had four bites total. It's been kind of slow. We thought we'd catch more from here, um, but we're gonna fish this spot a little bit longer. We might venture somewhere else, I don't know, but we're gonna catch a couple more fish. It's cold. It is cold, it's raining and it's just Ooh. not right. Not right conditions for May. <laughs> Well guys, as you can clearly see, we are abandoning today's fishing mission. We've been out here for about three hours. Um, we caught all of our fish out all of our bites within the first like 45 minutes. And since that last fish that Jay caught, we've caught nothing. We had no bites, not anything. And it's kind of surprising because we were getting them pretty, pretty quickly, I felt like. Mm -hmm. um, it could be due to the crappy weather. I mean, it hasn't gotten any warmer. The rain hasn't subsided any. Or it could just be because that little spot is very small. Maybe we caught all the fish. We don't know. We cause a lot of commotion, but we are definitely thinking that we can come back out here to this area, this general area. It's a big area. There's a lot of water that you can actually fish out here. And maybe we can target those bowfin another day when it's a little bit sunnier and we, we can really just grind on them and just try to catch a real big one. So definitely be on the lookout for that adventure, but that's going to be it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you're not already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out any of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're calling Jay and we'll see you on the next video. Bye guys. Bye.